All right. Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear, and please don't forget to share the link with your friends and to download it after we finish the video. Uh, you know, uh, a Muslim, he sent me this uh, article by, by Dr. Shabir Ali. Now, I know, you know, I, I wish that I can have Shabir Ali as a guest, but as you know, we invited him many times, and people, they challenged him many times. And Shabir Ali, and actually even ABN TV, they set up a debate between me and him, and then he retarded, like he, you know, he, he backed down. And the reason is very simple. He knew that he is no match. And, you know, uh, I mean, he can use all the excuses you want. If Shabir Ali really is a person, um, he's a high leak. You know, he's a, he's the, he's the high, you know. Uh, what is going to make you lose? I mean, you debated everybody. What, what stopping Shabir Ali from, okay, say this Christian prince, every few days there's some Muslims leaving Islam because of him. I'm going to get him busted once, for, like one time for good. But he don't dare to do that because he knew he's no match. So Dr. Shabir Ali, first of all, he is not a doctor because doctor is somebody who speak in academic way and somebody learn that when he speak, he have to give a proofs. And when you fabricate the proofs, and make it fit with your propaganda and agenda, that is not a proof. That is proof that you are a false person. I'm not insulting him, I'm just analyzing what he do. And today we have an article in front of us. I'm going to show it to you. And as it is, this is not my words. This is not my statement. This is Shabir Ali talking. I wish I can play videos of him because that will make us enjoy it more because it's kind of a comedy. The Bible denies the div divinity of Jesus. I mean, who in the world can believe in such a madness? The Bible deny the divinity of Jesus. Are you sure? This article has been taken from the website of, uh, of Dr. Brother Shabir Ali. Answer, uh, Islam answer back. With some uh, editing, it contains the following, the, the, the editing they did just to summarize the, the ideas to make it simple, but they did not take his statement off. Uh, following seven argument, which prove the Bible denies the divinity of Jesus. Argument number one, none of the Bible writers believe that Jesus is God. Can you believe it? Shabir Ali saying, none of the Bible writers believe that Jesus is God. Who is a Muslim here? He agree with this lie. None of the Bible writers believe in Jesus as God. So what they believe in him? None of them. I mean, you did not even leave one, like just one, please. I mean, come on, Shabir Ali. Like, come on, Shabir. For the sake of your beard, man. Like, it's not all your beard is white. There's still some black hair. So are you saying all the beard was white, no black? Four of them? Four of them? So here you start seeing the lies and the stupidity. This is not only a lie, it is a stupidity. None of the Bible writers believe that Jesus is God. You can go right now to Google, Prophet Google, peace upon him. And you will find endless numbers of verses from the four Gospels saying that Jesus is God. Let me do a little search. I'm not going even to study for it or, you know, I'm, I will do just little tiny search in Google, Prophet Google, peace upon him. And we will see if Shabir Ali is saying the truth or he is just uh, a fake sheikh. Okay, I just did the search. <clears throat> and I got this website. I have nothing to do with this website. It's just like a little search. All right. And here we go. Jesus being God. I and the Father is our one. Which book? John chapter 10, verse number 30. Uh, John chapter 1, verse 14. John chapter 8, verse number 58. Uh, Isaiah, even the Old Testament, 9, 6. John 1, 1. Uh, Corinthians, uh, 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 First Corinthians 8, 6. <clears throat> we have enough about John. Let us go and see other, other books. Uh, Hebrews. Uh, Peter. Uh, Revelation, uh, Exodus, uh, James, 
uh, Matthew. Uh, I'm not going to count in John because we have enough. Matthew, Acts, uh, Hebrew, Mark, Revelation, Acts, uh, Peter. I mean, do you, do you see the endless numbers of uh, of uh, uh, Mark? I mean, what what is this guy is talking about? What this guy is talking about? The Bible does not have verses that Jesus is God. This is some of the verses saying that Jesus is God. Yet he is saying none of those who the the writer of the Bible they believe that Jesus is God. <laughs> So this article written uh, like for who to be honest with you I see this article is written for like somebody is trying to convince himself that uh, or he is he, he wrote this article for those who they are already convinced that Jesus is God so they will not argue and they will not check it out and this is those are the Muslims so whatever you say they say to you brother we believe brother so Shabir Ali if you have little dignity and honesty you should not say such a statement because all the four Gospels and the book of Acts, Revelation, all they contain and they, they are full from the beginning to the end. Open the first page in Mark, the first page in, in, in John. What, 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 are you, what are you talking about? Evidence from the act of the Apostle. What is the act of the Apostle? Peter stood up with 11 disciples and addressed the crowd saying men of Israel listen to this Jesus of Nazareth, Nazareth was a man created by God to you by miracles wonders and signs which God did among you through him as yourself know okay hold on so uh, Shabir Ali saying that Jesus is a man between you, but he was a man, my friend. The, the Christian did believe that Jesus is God and a man, so nothing new here. I mean, you're not. Are you trying to convince that Jesus was a man? Jesus, he many times he said, "The Son of Man, the Son of Man, the Son of Man." So, if you are trying to say that he is here is called man, you fail because Jesus himself he called himself because he is coming in the flesh of man and he is born of Mary. This is all the news. But if we go to the Book of Act, just to show you the hypocrisy. And the fallacy with the long beard of Shabir Ali. If we go to the book of Acts, chapter 2, verse number 22, the same chapter he chose. It confirmed clearly that Jesus is God. Did you ask yourself why he caught 222? He did not read after. Did you did you ask yourself? Let us see. Okay. Let me open Act. Give me a second. <clears throat> Act 20, uh, chapter 2, as he chose. All right. Here we go. This is Act chapter 2, verse number 22. The one Mr. Shabir Ali with his long beard is you know he used to prove to you that Jesus is not God but he stopped here he read from men sons of Israel hear these words Yeshua Yeshua the Nazarene is the man who appeared to you from God with mighty work and with signs with miracles which God did among you God did among you by what by his hands did you see guys the same verse he quote for us it says that God he did miracles by what by the hands of Jesus what does that mean the same verse you see if miracle happened by God it's not my hands who did the miracles because it's God but if my hands did the miracles that's mean my hands is the hands of God so God, he did the miracles of Jesus by the hands of Jesus. Why? Because later we will see that Jesus is the visible image of the invisible God. So the hands of Jesus is the visible hands of the invisible hands of God. 
And look what it says. And this is why Shabir Ali, the deceiver, he did not continue. He says, as you know, this is one who is separated him of for this in the knowledge and all and, and will of God. You have betrayed into the hands of the wicked and you have canceled, uh, uh, you, you, you have certified and murdered, crucified and murdered, sorry. But here the verse confirm that Jesus, he was crucified. But Shabir Ali is using the same book to prove to us that Jesus is not God. So do you believe in this chapter or you don't believe? Here you see the hypocrisy. Shabir Ali, he will not like this. He will say, I'm not going to mention it. it you know, I don't believe that Jesus was crucified. So either you believe in the whole thing or you don't believe. And then, but God raised him. And he destroyed the destruction. And then I want you here to see after we read this. It was not, not not possible for him to be healed captive in in in, in uh, 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 you know uh, like in the grave or you know to be no no grave can contain Jesus for David said him David what said about him about him who about Jesus I foresaw my Lord always who was upon my right hand who is the one saying my Lord about Jesus David this is the same chapter this and the, and the funny they say to us none of the writers in the in the Bible they say that Jesus is God but here he is quoting for you what David said about him David saying that the Messiah is my Lord. So why, you know, uh, Shaibir Ali, who claimed that he is a doctor, he did not quote the whole thing because he is a liar, he's a deceiver. And not only that, if we go down in the same chapter, look what it says. For David had not ascended to heaven because he said, the Lord Jehovah said to my Lord, sit my right at my right hand. Until I make your enemy for to stall for your uh, for your feet, let the, therefore the whole house of Israel know that God made this Yeshua, Lord Jehovah, the Messiah, whom you had crucified. Do you see who is he? He is Jehovah. And the liar, he says, the proof that Jesus is not God from the book of Acts, chapter two. Verse number 22, when the holy chapter saying that Jesus is God, and not only that, we are not done. And when they heard these things, they were stricken in their heart, and they say to, 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 to Simon and the rest of the apostle, what should we do, brothers? And Simon said to them, return to God and be embraced every one of you in the name of the Lord Jehovah Yeshua I mean how this guy he have even the courage to fabricate such a lie do you think people they will not go and read This is the same chapter you choose not I'm not picking up my cherries this is the chapter you choose to prove to us that Jesus is not God this is act chapter 2 the same chapter he chose for us to prove that Jesus is not God read here we go huh? he quote from act 222 and look what he make a comment it was God therefore who did the miracle through Jesus to convince people? But it says here, by the hands of Jesus. And this is why he did not want to read to, to and look here. He go to chapter in the same book. He this is this is Shabir Ali. Take the following reference for an example. Okay, what example? God, God has raised this Jesus, Act 232. 
and then he says God had made this Jesus whom you crucified Lord and Christ he, you just quote for us a verse says God he made him Lord you just say it God he made him Lord so does it say there that he is God and by the way here the translation this is a translation of the Bible but the, the more accurate is here he is Jehovah let therefore the whole house of Israel truly God has made this Yeshua Lord Jehovah so he's telling them this is the made of God the flesh of Jesus the man Jesus is Jehovah in the flesh he is the visible image of the invisible God and the funny he is quoting there and says look in both passages the title God is turned away from Jesus that's not true he just called him Lord this is Jehovah for Peter Jesus was a servant of God you believe it Shabir Ali went not Jesus is the servant of God how he can serve my friend Jesus is a servant of us too what Jesus said about himself I came to serve not to be served do you see it Jesus he said I came to serve so God he humbled himself and he became a servant this is a very silly stupid argument not only he is servant of God for he what he's doing is the work of God because what servant of God mean anyone who do the work for like uh, for the glory of God right okay was Jesus doing the work of the glory of his father yes he was did he say everything my I do my father do too yes he did he said my father is working and I'm working too so my father is serving and I am serving and that because our Lord is a true Lord the Messiah himself he said he said the one who lower himself he will become a master and the one who is so proud is not so our God he is extremely humble this is why he said my father is the greater than me why because I'm coming to you in the flesh of the man why he's greater than me I have a physical shape and the Bible says for God he humble himself he what he humble himself so when the Muslim they try to prove to you an issue never listen to what they say but they because they fabricate and they change the meaning and even in their quotation it says that Jesus the disciple they call Jesus Lord he is Lord and he is a Christ so how are you saying in the title in the top it says none of the disciple of Jesus believe that Jesus is Lord what Lord mean if I go to the Quran and I type the word Lord what the word Lord mean let us see chapter number one verse number two alhamdulillahi rabbi this is the same word by the way in uh, in Hebrew this is not an Arabic word this is not the Ara actually Arabic languages not exist Arabic is a collection of languages most of it is coming from the Aramaic and mix of other languages including Hebrew Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen who is Rabb who is that Lord the Muslim they will say Allah okay Qala Ibrahim Rabbi who is this Rabbi they will say God okay chapter 2 verse number 260 Rabbi who is that God Rabbi or Qalat Imrat wa Imran Rabbi so each time you say Rabb you are calling God so how you say to me they strip him from the word God 
why by calling him rub they just called him rub do you see the hypocrisy and do you see how they lie to you they have no dignity all those verses in the Quran is using the word rub and all of it it is about God rub 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 look 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 rub 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 all those verses I can find you how many hold on 126 time in the search engine 126 time the word rub a be appear in the Quran and all of it it's about God so for Shabir Ali, the word rub is not God. They strip Jesus from the word God. Do you see the hypocrisy? If I use the logic of Shabir Ali, that the word rub is not God no more, that means the Quran is gone. Because here it says, Alhamdulillahi Rabbul Alameen. So who is this guy who is not God you are worshipping? You just said, by using the word rub, we strip Jesus from the word God. So who is this guy who is you are worshipping? And look, the Muslims, they translate the word rub. By the way, translation is false. You know, it doesn't say uh, praise be to God. It says praise be to Allah. And Allah is not a word meaning God. Yes, it's a name of God, but it's not. I don't know who is this donkey here, the translator. Let us change the translator. Because it's very stupid to translate the word Allah as God, for Allah is a name, not a word meaning God. Here we go. Praise be to Allah. All right. Here they translate the word. Where is the word uh, Lord? What happened to the? What happened to the word Lord? It's gone with this translator. Look what is this? Okay. Let us change the translator. I mean, we have to keep uh, jumping like monkeys from place to place. Let us see Shakir. The Lord appear again, the Lord of the Ring. All right. Uh, look what Muhammad is saying to us. Muhammad is a Muslim uh, uh, gentleman who have uh, always answer for us. The Lord does not mean God in the Bible. Other people are called Lord in the Bible. Yes, my friend, you can say that. But when a king and you Muslim, you consider him a prophet, he call. Jesus Lord how he can be a Lord for a king can you tell me how Jesus became the Lord of David and not only he called him Lord he called him Jehovah anyone can be a Lord of Trump Trump is a president of USA who is his Lord I want to use your logic David is the most powerful king of the Jews. Who was his Lord? I'm waiting for your smart answer. You can search Google or you can contact Gabriel because he is the pizza guy who deliver always answer to Muhammad. So your answer is very silly because here they are quoting David and even the Messiah himself who he called David about what he said about him. And David is not just a guy who walk in the post office. He is a king. He is the king of Israel. He's the most powerful king of Israel. Calling the Messiah, my Lord. So what, my Lord here? My Lord Jehovah. Right? So your answer is very silly and not accurate. And the funny, look, what Qasim, he says, the Lord in the world, the Lord in the Bible, it does not mean God always, you know, I can say the same in the Quran. But when you put the Lord, the, 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 the word Lord in front of a name, and that name mean God. If I ask Muslims, what does Christ mean? Hey, uh, Muhammad Qasim, according to the cult of Islam, what the word uh, Christ mean? Guys, do you want to, to wait for the answer? I, I give Qasim 10,000 years to give me the answer based on Islamic resource. 
neither him, neither his prophet, neither his God know what a Christ mean. The second you call this person Christ, you just consider him God. Did you ask yourself here why they are calling him Yeshua and yet he have a title as Messiah? What does that title mean? Who is a Muslim want to tell me from those who read the article of uh, which is written in the beard of Shabir Ali? What the word the Christ mean according to Islam? Anyway, don't tell me you have a religion speaking about Christ and you keep saying Al-Masih, 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 but you do not know what Al-Masih mean. That will be hilarious. If we go in the Quran, we will find the word Al-Masih appear many times. Okay, what Al-Masih mean? What does that mean? And who is the one who gave him the name? The Quran says Allah. Allah gave him the name. Do you see it? <laughs> okay, why he have this name? Isn't it enough to have the name of Isa? And by the way, who is Isa? Your God even could not quote the name of, of, of Yeshua correctly. Who is this guy, Isa? We never met Isa. Didn't you know Isa? Who is Isa? Nobody heard of this name. So when your God, he called Yeshua, or as it's called in the Quran, Isa, he called him the Messiah. Can you Muslim explain to me why he called him the Messiah? No, you cannot. Can your prophet explain? No, he cannot. Why? Because he's a thief. He himself he do not know what a Messiah mean. So by having that name, You confirm that Jesus is God. Any Muslim would like to call us? They don't know. The same if you ask them what the word Israel mean. They don't know. What Abraham mean? They don't know. What Moses mean? They don't know. What Maryam mean? They don't know. So what do you know? What the, what is the knowledge of this God? And what is the purpose of this book? If this book, he quote words, do not know what it's mean. Hmm? Someone saying, Masihiyi Najid, can you use some Muna or Isa? That is a false statement, my friend. Because Masihiyu Najid, as you say, to be in order to be calling their God a name, they have to bring a reason. How you change the name from Yeshua to Isa? What is that? They saw a movie and they decide to change the name. Muhammad, he took his knowledge from a false cult around him, not from the Christians. This is not a Christian use name. <coughs> uh, Omar Abdul Fattah. Okay, Mr. Omar, I just send you hi. Call me back, please. We have a Muslim. His name is Omar. He would like to call us. So let us see how good he is. I hope he is good like his prophet. Because his prophet is amazing. Are you there, Mr. Omar? Let me give you a call. is not ready okay we are not going to force you to talk to us but I will give you time to answer and to call me back otherwise I will block you all right call me Omar call me
So the religion who is speaking about the Messiah is the last one to teach about the Messiah because even a very simple definition, the definition of a name, they don't know. Why, why Allah called him the Messiah? Anyone knows? Anyone have an idea? Yes, Qasim, what? Why he was called the Messiah according to your religion? Do you have an answer? Did you search Google? I will give you 10,000 years to bring me an answer from your prophet. If your prophet never told you why he was called the Messiah, obviously that means he do not know. You do not know. And it's a shame that the prophet, he told us that Allah said the Messiah, but you Muslim do not know what the word Messiah mean. Guys, uh, Mr. Uh, 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 Muhammad, he sent me this text. Try not to laugh. The word Messiah, which is a nickname given to Jesus is a drift from the root uh, uh, Mish <laughs> according to Ibn Abbas Jesus was given this name because he touches touched various ill people and he uh, uh, cured them by the permission of Allah hmm. this is Ibn Abbas what is your prophet teaching and uh, oh, by the way the Messiah he was given a name because he touched people. Huh. Uh -huh. So you are saying to me that Jesus, when he touched you, he heal you. The hand of Jesus is the reason to be called the Messiah. And the hand of Jesus, the second it touched you, you became a cure by the will of Allah. Why Allah don't cure you without touching you by the hand of Jesus? Huh? Why Jesus, he can heal the blind by touching the eyes of the blind? What about say, hey, Allah, Pfft, Allah, I'm a prophet. I'm asking you to heal this guy. But you just said when Jesus, he touch a person, he is healed. What is the power in the hand of Jesus, Mr. Qasim? Which you are assuming, according to the interpretation you gave me, is the reason for healing. Are you saying that God, he put in the hand of Jesus a power of healing? So the second he touched you, he heal you? Why Allah did not give that power to Muhammad? Why Allah did not give this power to Moses? To Abraham? To Isaiah, why only one person in Islam, his name is the Messiah? Any Muslim have an answer? Only one person was giving the Messiah, the name of the title of the Messiah. No, one person in Islam, there is no two. The other two will be the false Messiah, which is the Shaitan. Satan, he will claim to be the Messiah, which is a proven again that the Messiah is God. Any Muslim can tell us why only the Messiah? Muhammad, the answer again said, Allah did miracles through Isa. They prove it. Guys, Allah, he did miracles through Isa. Okay, question How come Allah did miracles through Isa? And this is mentioned in the Quran, but Allah never mentioned that Muhammad, he did the miracle in the Quran. This is my challenge to any Muhammadan in the whole world who want to show me a verse in the Quran saying that Muhammad he did a miracle. Is that fair, guys? Including Mr. Mr. Muhammad Qasim. He said that the Prophet he did such a spit in the moon. That's a big fat lie. The Quran never say Muhammad split the moon. The Quran says the judgment day is near and the moon is split which means the Quran reporting an incident 
Nowhere it says that Muhammad split anything. Did you ask yourself why? And by the way, the moon is not split. This is additional lie. And number three, this is, was a false prophecy. Because the, the verse in the Quran there, it says that اِقْتَرَبَتِ السَّاعَ وَانْشَقَّ الْقَمَرِ the last hour draw near and the moon split asunder but this was a prophecy that this is a sign of a judgment day it's not Muhammad making this miracle where, if, where in the verse it says mention the name of Muhammad nowhere Muhammad he saw the eclipse he says the judgment day is near and the moon is split and now the Muslim they say and they fabricate that this is the sign of Muhammad he made a miracle Not only that, if we go in the yellow pages, I mean uh, the Quran, we will find this. Allah, he said, وَمَا مَنَعَنَا أَن نُرْسِلَ بِآيَاتِنَا Chapter 17, verse number 59. <clears throat> Nothing prevented us from sending signs except the fact that previous people denied them. So what Allah confirming here? That Allah never sent the sign. Guess what? This verse was given way after this verse. Anyone understand what the problem now? Anyone understand? <laughs> Do you understand what happened? If this is, was a miracle done by Muhammad, and then way after a chapter saying that Allah refrained from sending miracles to Muhammad. That means Muhammad never have a miracle. Are you getting my point? The Quran confirmed, and after that verse was revealed, the chapter of the moon, saying, I refrain, prevented us. Prevented us. How you can prevent God from doing miracles? Do you see here the falsehood of Muhammad, how he explained? Because why? People, they keep saying to him, give us a miracle. How come you don't have miracles? The excuse of Muhammad, he gave them this verse. Only, only guys, only Muslims can call me, please. I don't want Christian calls. You know the rules. Nobody call me unless he is a Muslim. We don't want to do what the Muslim do, like blah, 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 two Christians talking about Islam. We don't want to do that. Like Muslims, you know, they uh, uh, Shabir Ali and he have his daughter in front of him have uh, uh, two kilograms of makeup, and then they discussing about Jesus, if he's God or not. The father and his daughter, and now everybody is convinced. Uh, if you are a man, debate me. Don't bring your daughter and put her in front of you, and you give her the question to ask you before you start the show. Even the questions you gave her is written by you. I mean, have you ever heard of somebody he bring his daughter to do to 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 ask him a questions, and those questions are written by him? <laughs> what about Shabir Ali? Be a man and say, "Hey, Christian Prince, you call me." You call me, or you can only take questions from your daughter. Hmm? Here we go. We are live on air. Where is Shabir Ali? Actually, we asked people to pause this video for Shabir Ali to call us. He was never there. This is why I always say I want Muslims to call me, not Christians. Because if we do what they do, you know, two Christians, okay, the debunking Islam. Where is the Muslim in the story? We want a Muslim to call us. Who is a Muslim going to call us? Who is a Muslim have the courage to call me? You see, you call me. Get me busted life on air. Do you agree with Shabir Ali? If you agree, tell me how. Muhammad has no miracles. Muhammad, he could not even heal himself. He died by poison. The one who can heal others cannot he heal himself. Very simple question. 
if God he gave Muhammad the power to split the moon I assure you Muhammad he cannot even split a watermelon if this man he can split the moon which one is harder to split the moon or to heal himself from little poison to a drop of poison to split the moon or to stop a black magic which affect him have you ever heard of a prophet being given power of God yet he cannot fight black magic which is false anyway where is the power where is the miracle the God of Islam when Muhammad supposedly infected with the black magic he sent the three angels to do a surgery to Muhammad to find what is behind the black magic where is the where is the God power hmm is this a story is real no problem anyone can call me and uh, as long he is a Muslim if you are a Christian don't call me I will reject your call I will hang up on you and my reason is very simple we don't want to do what the Muslims do we want uh, people to hear the voice of Muslims the answer of Muslims not two Christians doing blah 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 This is what the Muslims do. Like in the Dean show. The guy in the Dean show, Yusuf State, he received a phone call in his cell phone without even ringing. And he answered the phone, but nobody heard the sound. Hello? Uh huh. Yes. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Mm -huh. Okay. Okay, brother. Okay. Uh, I will answer your question. Let us hear the guy. There's nobody is calling. I called the Dean show. They never let me go. There's no calls. It's a, it's a it's a fake show there's nobody is calling they will never dare to let anyone call in go and search a Christian prince to call in the Dean show they hang up on me if you have a question call us in the Dean show and we call them can Shabir Ali take a call from a Christian prince can Zakir Naik take a call from a Christian prince who can take a call from a Christian prince? don't call me I will call you Hey Muhammad, how are you? Muhammad is reciting for us some verses from the Quran. Any Muslim? Who is the Muslim on a chorus? This is the miracle. We have a we have a prophet who is bewitched. So what does that mean? Muhammad he go to the bedroom, but he think he is in the bathroom. Oh Muhammad, don't do it there. This is the bed. Hey, brother Muhammad, don't take off your clothes. This is the bed. This is not the toilet seat, man. This is what the, the story in front of me is saying that. You're a prophet, he do things. In fact, he did not. Do you see it? So the guy who split the moon, cannot he stop this stupid thing? Somebody took some hair from his body and control him? That's why I don't go to the barber shop. I'm afraid. Especially if it's a female, she can control me, brother. What is that? Why nobody did bewitching to any of other prophets? And why Allah could not save his prophet from the bewitching before it happened? My friend, the one who want to call me, give me your uh, Skype I, uh, ID and I will call you, no problem. But again, you have to be a Muslim. So where is the power of Muhammad and where is the power of Allah? What is the power of Allah when the, when the goat ate the Quran? Isn't it Allah, he says, nobody can destroy his words? And then we find that the goat ate it? Hmm? What happened to the power of Allah? Allah was in vacation at that time. The goat take him, took him into surprise? 
I thought Allah, he promised that his words is protected and nobody can corrupt them and nobody can eat them. Hey, by the way, Muhammad Qasim, if there's any verse in the Quran that says nobody can eat the words of Allah, Where we can find those verses which eaten by the goat? But Allah says nobody can change or destroy the word of Allah. A goat that beat Allah. If a goat can do it, if a goat can do it, what I will say about my chicken? So when the Muslims, they made article trying to uh, fabricate the meaning and change the direction of those verses in the Bible, they are obviously are not being honest. Because as you see, in act, it says that he is Lord and he is a Christ. And actually in the correct, accurate translation, it is Jehovah. Not only he is Lord. And this is was when, uh, uh, even when uh, uh, David, he caught, he spoke about his Lord. His Lord, the Lord, the Lord said to my Lord, the Muslim, they said to you, where in the Old Testament we can find the Trinity? What? A brother editor, I trained the Christian to tell me where in the Old Testament it said the Trinity. Like, hold on. Isn't it this is David? Is David from the Old Testament or from the New Testament? Huh? Who is the Lord? Jehovah said to my Lord. Who is the first Lord? Who is the second Lord? Huh? Okay, we have Mr. Zaki. Call me Mr. Zaki. I will not stay here for long because today I have a little headache, but I, I could not uh, resist the temptation of doing the what we do. Yes, Mr. Zaki, how are you? Hello? Are you there? Hmm. Okay, fix your microphone and call me back. It's all right. Maybe you have some difficulty. No problem. So as you see here, this article is full of fabrications and dishonesty. The whole gospel is speaking about Jesus being God. Every chapter, a Muslim he quote for you says, there it says clearly that Jesus is not God. Like here saying that Jesus is a servant of God. Well, Jesus says, I'm a servant of man too. I came to serve. For he is the savior. When you quote for me, Isaac and Jacob and Abraham, first of all, you do not know who is Abraham. You do not, the proof, you do not know what the name Abraham means. You do not know what Isaac means. You do not know what Jacob means. You do not know what Jesus means. So how you can tell me about them? And why you don't quote for me that Jesus says before Abraham, I am. Hello? Hello, hello. Yes, Mr. Uh, Zaki. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Go ahead. What do you want to say to us? Okay. Uh, I'm a Muslim uh, and I have a question, but sorry if I have a bad English because no I'm from Indonesia. No problem. Where are so, you from, my friend? Which country are you from? Uh, I'm from Indonesia. Wonderful. What do you like to say to us? Go ahead. Yeah, I want to ask about how the fate of people born before Jesus was born. What was? Uh, how the fate of people born before Je Jesus was born. 
Well, there's the people who they are the Jews and they believe already in God, the true God. And then the Bible claim clearly that's the one who don't uh, receive a message of God. God will judge him by his knowledge, which means God he gave us when we are born. Like, you know, Adam. He, uh, Adam, he knew about the father, the God. And he told his children and children told the children. So people will be judged by their knowledge. It's how much you know and how much you do based on what you know, you will be judged. So those who do not know Jesus, they will not be judged for not accepting Jesus because this will not be justice. For you do not know about, let's say now in the year 2019, there is somebody living in the jungles of Brazil. He never heard about Jesus. Can he is going to go to hell? No. God is fair, God is just, and he will judge him by his knowledge. The knowledge which God gave him, based on that limited knowledge, he will be judged. Now, I want to ask you the same question. Chinese who uh, never heard about Allah. Yeah. Okay, why Allah did not send in a messenger to save them? They never heard about Allah. And you, Islam, the one who don't believe in Allah, will go to hell, correct? Yeah. Okay. So now what will happen to those billions of Chinese, Indian, Indonesian who never heard before about Muhammad until, you know, people, they, uh, some people convert to Islam. What, what will happen to those people uh, before Muhammad? You see, this is your question. Give it to me. I answer you. I give you back that question. Yeah. Hmm. What do you think? No. Uh, Islam is, Islam trusts about the Bible, but the real Bible. My friend, you asked me a question before Jesus. What will happen to those people? I'm asking you before Muhammad. Yeah. Allah did he Allah he sent a, a Muslim messenger to China? No, okay. So, why Allah did not send a messenger to China? Uh, did you know about Taurat and Bible? My friend, do you have the do you have an answer? I'm asking you the question, don't jump it. The same yeah. question you gave me. I'm asking you the same question you gave me exactly. I don't know. I, I never heard about prophet in China. Okay, but the same. This is the same. How come you ask the? How come you ask a question about what will happen to people before Jesus? But you never ask your question. The same question. Same thing about Islam. Okay, so the answer is the Jesus will forgive him or no no I'm asking you you as a Muslim what Jesus I'm asking you the Quran says if, if in Islam my friend, my friend, Islam. the Quran say we will never okay. punish people unless we send them a messenger you know that right yes all right Wama kunna, we will never send we will never punish until we send them a messenger and he is one from them hmm? we will send them a messenger okay allah says he will never punish any nation unless he send them a messenger first before muhammad who is the messenger allah he sent to the chinese is that buddha yeah i'm not sure maybe buddha because he have a big belly Just to follow the what I mean, you, you see the verse in front of you. This is chapter 17, verse number 15, saying, Allah will never yeah, yeah. send anyone to punish, He will not punish a nation unless He send the warner to them. Okay, oh. this is the question you gave me. I answer you based on my, my knowledge in the Bible, based on the Quran, Allah will not punish anyone unless He receive a warning first. Okay. People who they are in India, in China, Indonesia, your people, they are from Indonesia. Okay. Allah says he will never send those people to hell unless he send them a warner first. So what, why Allah never send the warner all those years to Indonesia? Who is the first Muslim prophet he, the, the Indonesian heard about? Uh, not a prophet, but just like uh sunan sunan kalijaga what sunan uh, my friend who is the prophet before muhammad yeah. you, indonesian you heard of him before before muhammad have you ever heard of an indian indonesian he was a muslim before muhammad 
he came to Muslim Indonesia says, yes. yeah, because he had to come and tell you about Allah. Did you ever learn about Allah before Muhammad? Adam is the first Muslim. Did Adam come to Indonesia and he told you about Allah? Uh, no. Okay, this is the question. Allah will not punish a nation unless he send them a messenger first. So, those who they are not Muslims before Muhammad, according to this verse, they will go to heaven. Uh, is the Christian same like this? Still punished? I just told you, yeah, God will judge. No, still you will be judged. You will not go to heaven. Depend on what you did. God will judge you by, based on your knowledge. Let us say you are a person who live in a cave, in a cave time. You never heard about Jesus. Still, God will judge you based on the act you do because God is still, he put in your heart a knowledge, a knowledge of bad and good. Like not to, kidding, you, 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 right away when a human being, he, he slaughtered a chicken, it's disgusting, even if it's a chicken. So you know what's wrong, you know what, so you have a basic knowledge of wrong and, and right. So God will judge you by the basic knowledge you have. When you kill a man, you are not killing to survive. You are not killing a rabbit. You are killing a man. Why are you killing him? To take his wife? Then you will go to hell. When you kill somebody, when you steal, you, this is not yours. Why you take it? Even if you don't have a book. So, kill a what? so uh, here in the Quran, we have a problem. The Quran is saying Allah will not punish any nation unless he send them a, a messenger. But yet we cannot find the names of the messengers was sent before Muhammad. Who is the who is the Muslim prophet? Can you name for me a Muslim prophet came ever to India? No one. Okay, but Indonesia is a huge country. I mean, it's the biggest population of Islam. How come Allah ignored those Indonesian for all those hundreds of years, or if not thousands? And he sent the prophet to a tribe of Quraysh. They have two thousand people there. Why he did not send to Indonesia? Don't you deserve to have a prophet of your own? Yes, you never to Indonesia and never to India. All right. So look, you sound like a smart person. I like that. Look at this verse. I don't know if you can see the screen. Do you see the screen? Of course, of course. Okay. The Quran said, Allah never send a messenger unless he speak the tongue of his people. Chapter 14, verse number 4. 14, verse number 4. Can you show me the English? Let me see if I can find Indonesian language. Hold on. I don't know if there is Indonesian ah, yeah, language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love Indonesian language. Yeah, I love it too. I, I used to speak Indonesian, but after Jabril squeezed me three times, I forgot it. You know? Since then, I, I, can... don't, uh, I don't uh, speak. Uh, I forgot Indonesian. Where is the Indonesian? I don't know. I cannot... Tamil, uh, Tamil, Turkish, Indonesian. There says Bahasa. Can you? Bahasa? So letter B? Ba? Yeah. Letter Bahasa B? Is from Indonesia. Uh, Bahasa. Let us see Bahasa. Bengal, ben Bulgarian. Oh, there, there's, there's Indonesia. Uh, where, where? 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 I'm not sure. No, no. Down there. Only Indonesia, and only Indonesia. Uh, uh, down, 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 down. Okay, let's see. I don't know. Maybe I, I, I jump it. You see, this is what happens since he starts squeezing me. Indonesian language. Okay, this is the one, Basha, right? Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. All right, here we go. Uh, and because I've been squeezed by the angel Jibril, now I will read for you in Indonesian. Kamai Tidak Mintagos. Uh, Serang, uh, Rizul upon, uh, Mikan, uh, Dang, uh, Basha, uh, <laughs> did you understand? Well, do you understand too when you read Arabic? It's the same for you. I mean, how you pray to Allah in the language, you don't understand that this is funny, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, now let me does it say here that Allah never send a messenger to any nation unless He send them one of them and He speak their language? Uh. Does it say that in this verse? I don't understand the language, but you tell me. Yeah, of course. Okay. So Allah will never yeah. send a messenger unless he is from the, the people and he speaks the language of the people. Let me ask you, do Muhammad, is Muhammad from your nation? Muhammad, no. Okay. Do you speak your language? 
No. So the Quran proving that Muhammad is a false prophet. Because in order for Allah and the verse in the front of you in your language to send the messenger, he have to send him from your people and speak in the tongue of your people. Correct? This is what the verse is saying, correct? Mm, yes. Okay, so how Muhammad can be a messenger for you? Uh, pardon? How Muhammad can be a messenger for you? Because the Quran put a condition. The condition is there's 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 two conditions. Number one condition, yeah. he have to be from the people. Number two condition, speak in the tongue of the people. Why? The Quran explained here. So they might understand. Does, does it say that? So they might understand. Yeah. Correct? And that makes sense. Yeah, correct. That makes sense. Like I want to speak to the German. Well, the German don't speak my language. So what I would do? In order to tell them about my God, I mean, I have to really learn their language. And in order, and, and the, the perfect one who can explain the language of somebody, I mean, the, the, the message of God is somebody speak the language of those people. This is what the Quran is saying, not me. So Allah never sent the messenger unless he speak the tongue of the people. So how you believe in Islam? Muhammad never spoke your tongue and he is not from Indonesia. And not only that, Indonesia have many languages, correct? Did you know? No, we in you. Indonesia, if I, no, I won't explain why we are Muslim in here. Hmm. Because when we already born in this world, my father uh, azan to me. And azan to me, I already joined in Islam. And Your father is a Muslim, so you are born as a Muslim, I understand. Yeah, okay. I open-minded about this. Yeah, but that's not a question. Uh, uh, my friend, what's your name? Uh, my name is Zaki. Zaki. Okay, Zaki. Listen, my uh, what I'm saying to you, the verse in the front of you, that Allah is saying, Allah is saying, not me, this is not me, that he will yeah. never send you a messenger unless he is Indonesian. Does it say that? Yes. Because it says, if min qawmihi, bilisani qawmihi, in the tongue of his people, does it say that in the translation? Maka Allah menyesatkan siapa yang dia kehendaki dan memberi petunjuk kepada siapa yang dia kehendaki. Hmm. Does it say that he have to speak the tongue of his people? So in this verse, they say they said uh, we must understand about Arab language. Did I'm correct? No, 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 no. Here it's saying. Allah will not yeah. send you a messenger. Allah will not send you a messenger unless he, the messenger, not you, uh, speak your language and he will be from your nation. This is what the uh, verse is saying. What do you think? How such a how such a thing happened? How Muhammad he say that he is a messenger for all mankind, but the Quran says we send not we send not any messenger. And this verse was mentioned in the time of Muhammad, not before. Oh, no, I don't understand. Okay, my friend. If I say to you, I will not send to you somebody to call you unless he is Indonesian and he speak your language. What do you understand from that? You understand that I'm going to send you someone Indonesian, correct? Right, correct. Okay. And he speak your language, correct? Yes. Okay. The Quran is saying that Allah will never send somebody to call you, to teach you, unless he is from your nation speaking your language. So how Muhammad is your prophet? Muhammad is not from Indonesia and he don't speak your language. Yeah, he's from Arab. Correct. So Muhammad is a false prophet then because he contradicts himself. The Quran, so said, the Quran said that if this book is not from Allah, which means not from God, then you will find in it a lot of contradiction. Correct? Then in that verse, want to say to if Islam is only for Arab people, correct? Because Muhammad, this is, this is match only the case of the Arab, only. Yeah. Look what the Quran is saying. This is a chapter four. 
verse number 82 why they cannot figure out the Quran huh why you cannot figure out so the, the Arab at that time of Muhammad they cannot figure out the Quran this is a stupid book so they say if it were not were other than Allah then it was found many uh, uh, contradiction in it well this is a contradiction one verse that says Muhammad is a prophet for all mankind and one verse saying that Allah never sent a messenger unless he speak the language of his own people so they might understand what is the point to make it clear for them okay how how Muhammad can make Islamic clear for you in Arabic and you are Indonesian I mean Alif Lam Mim uh, Arab people cannot uh, explain me about Alif Lam Mim means my friend the Arab cannot even explain the Quran in Arabic go and read any interpretation for the verses you will see the Arab disagree about what the verse mean those are the Arab so the Quran could not make it clear even in Arabic to the Arab so how that will explain to you and what we will do now with this what we will do with the Quran saying that Allah never send a messenger unless he speak the tongue of his people well, that's mean Allah will never send a messenger to Indonesia unless he is an Asian he look like you he's Indonesian like you and by the way Indonesian there there's many tribes they many language correct how many languages there is in the Indo Indonesia uh, Zaki yeah I can read from uh, Quran translate to Indonesia hmm. But I still don't understand any Arab language. Hmm. But you understand still in the, the Indonesian language, do you? Yes. Because it's confusing book. Quran is a stupid book. Ah. Yeah, it's stupid book. Look, here it says Allah will never send a messenger unless he is speaking the tongue of his own people. So how Muhammad ah. is a messenger for you? Because he I'm has sorry, to be. But yeah. Uh, CP, uh, I ever uh, hear about you talking about uh, Prophet Ibrahim is Sun and moon is Allah who Akbar hmm. yeah uh, can you explain it for me all right no problem uh, when Abraham according to the Quran not to me yeah according on Quran yeah the Abraham is when, when the, he saw the moon rising he said this is Rabbi you see guys a second ago we were talking about the word rub rub right we say yeah. the Bible called Jesus rub okay here we go this is the word in Arabic it says this is my Lord and his translation when he saw the moon rising in his splendor he said this is my Lord this is my God this is what my Lord means Abraham according to the Quran calling the moon he worshiped the moon then he switched Worshiping the sun and what he called it Akbar. Read carefully. Verse number 78. Do you see the word Akbar? Do you see the word Akbar? It's written the same exactly the Muslim they say it in Arabic. This is the same Akbar. Do you see it? Yeah, I see it. But okay. Why 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 Ibrahim wow. calling the sun Akbar? Akbar is for the moon or for the sun? It's for the sun. It's for the sun. Yeah. So Allahu Akbar. Allah is the moon God. Akbar is the sun God. They have sex together. They have three daughters. One is called Allah and the Manat Al Uzza. Can, can I say uh, Allah for the moon? Allah for the moon? Yeah. Well, in the first, you say in 77. 77 it says yeah when he saw the moon rising he said this is my lord yeah. but he did not call it akbar he called only yeah. the sun akbar because this is another name of the sun this is akbar this is akbar the sun verse number 78 so yeah. allah 77. allah you see the, the arab when they say they say the allahu akbar who in arabic who mean and allahu akbar so allah and akbar muhammad he unified the god there are two uh, gods. There is Allah okay. and there is Akbar. And now we make them one God. And did you ask yourself why the Arab believe that Allah has three daughters? 
where the story came from, how Allah get the three daughters. What do you think, uh, uh, Zaki? I don't know. I think the moon and the sun is not a god. I know, but I mean, when the Arab they worship Allah, you see, they are worshiping Allah, and then uh -huh. yet they believe that Allah have a three daughters. Okay, where Allah He got those daughters? Did you ask any uh, any uh, Sheikh? Okay, where where this is where? What is the background of this story? Where? Why the Arab they believe that Allah have three daughters? What happened? Allah has three God. Yeah, this is what the Arab believe in front of you, chapter fifty three, verse number nineteen and twenty. First one, yeah, yeah. If you didn't consider the lead and the uzza, hmm. uh, what's that means? Those are the three daughters of Allah. The Arab believe that there's a three daughters for Allah. <coughs> and Manat and the third glass. What is this? Those are the three names of the three daughters of Allah. And look what Allah is complaining about. He says, What? You take the male for you and you give me the female? So Allah is complaining that they give him three daughters, no with no boys. Have you ever heard of a God he speak like this? What? Allah complained that the Arab they gave him daughters and they have sons. Allah don't like to have daughters. Oh. Hmm. What do you think? What's wrong with I this? I don't know. I think the Quran is more contra. You know what? When we learn about Quran, we just know the real Islam. Yeah, and the real Islam is stupid, as you say. Yeah. No. Hey, I just say. You just say. Yeah, hold on, hold on. What kind of God yeah. he say? What kind of God he say? Hello, you have sons and you gave me daughters. I mean, this is two women talking in the neighborhood, fighting with each other. One of them, she's saying, oh, your kids only are girls. My kids, I have boys. What kind of God he says such an answer? See, I put it for you in your language in the front of you. Does it say that? Yeah, yeah, Allah is saying for, the, for you, the, the male, and for me, the female, this is unjust. Read it. What kind of God do you say that? Why Allah need, uh... Why Allah complaining about them having boys and he have daughters? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, don't say oh my God, say, say oh my Allah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. I, I ever heard about you say Allah have a physic, Allah have a food in the hell. You know, I just dizzy right now. You get dizzy right now? I'm getting dizzy yeah. too. We, we should drink camel urine, me and you. Have you ever heard of Muhammad saying drink camel urine? Did you try it? Yeah. What did what Indonesian people drink for like? Uh, uh, when you have visitors, do Muslims Indonesian they serve camel urine or they serve, serve tea and coffee? What they serve? Uh, do you know any Indonesian serve camel urine? As the Prophet say? No, right? Uh, no. Yeah, because they are smart. They are not reading. So, what do you think, Zaki? You want to stay as a Muslim? What's what? What do you what? What do you think about this religion, the mad religion? What is this? Oh. Uh, firstly, I hate about Muhammad his story because I just want to kill, kill, and marry, marry more women. And yeah, when I talking to you, I know the Allah is. I don't know is <laughs> is what. It's false God, right? <laughs> it may be there's a false God, but I don't understand about Jesus. 
no problem but let us first agree me and you that Allah is a false God and then we can talk about Jesus so do you agree that Allah is Muhammad, Muhammad both are false uh, maybe I agree with you they are false because too much drama too much uh, stupid things too like the Quran says yeah. the women she have a sperm coming from her ribs you know yeah but women don't have a sperm at all and the man's sperm coming from the backbone and the sun set in murky water and Allah don't remember which one he created first the grass or the skies I mean this is a stupid guy now so you ag you agreed with me that Muhammad is a false prophet and Allah is a false God that's wonderful our our friend here guys uh, uh, Zaki he decided he's from Indonesia that Allah is a false God and Muhammad is a false prophet that's wonderful now Zaki what do you want to know about Jesus ask me I don't know start from where you know about Jesus First of all, do you have any problem about the stories of Jesus? Do you have anything you don't like about Jesus? No, no. I already watching the film from Jesus in Indonesia. So dumping. I understand Jesus is trying to share about love. Mm -hmm. uh, he can rescue him. He can help more people and no war, no kill, no marry more. Wonderful. But uh i want to ask how how god will uh, born from his uh from a woman mary yeah okay well let me ask you is god is god or he is not uh, god i mean when we say god can god do anything yeah yeah okay well as good as long god can do anything he can be born too it's his it's his will so if god he have a plan to be born of a woman to come through a nation they are the Jews well this is his plan and you know uh, let, let, let us say uh, the Muslim they say okay you are saying to me that God he came from a woman private part that's disgusting that's what they say to you right yeah okay let me ask you if we have a dirty water dirty water and then the sun, the strong sun, go through this dirty water. Which one will get dirty? The sun will get dirty, or the water, the bacteria in the water will be killed and will be clean. Which one will affect who? Is the dirty water will make the sun dirty, or the sun will make the water clean? Uh, I think the sun will make. See why? It's just a sun. I mean, it's just a, a star. It's not like a god. So God is holy, and nothing can make him dirty. So the idea of being born of a woman and that will affect him, that is a silly idea. And actually, the uh, uh, you know the Quran uh, confirmed that if you go to Quran chapter 19, verse number 19, you will see the Quran says that Jesus is the Holy Son. So the Muslim, when they want, they say how Jesus can be God and he is born of a woman. But isn't it the Quran in chapter 19, verse number 19, says that Jesus is holy and he is a pure? What this verse here said to, say to you in your language, uh, Zaki? Chapter 19, verse 19. Read it for me. It's on the screen, in your language. Okay. Uh, in this verse is Gabriel and Maria. Hmm. Uh, was conversation about Gabriel and Maria hmm. and he will give her what he will give her says that a God will give her yes. yeah a, a, a child he is what he is what what Susie you mean what Susie yes, uh, um, Susie Susie, Susie, I don't know. Susie means is uh, I don't know in English in uh, okay is that mean a pure or holy uh, you know Fitri Fitra same like Fitra Fitra uh, that's that's a lie. This doesn't say that. It says that he's holy. Uh, let me show you how they lie to you in translation. I don't know what this guy is saying here in translation, but this is Muhammad Yusuf Ali translation. Uh, uh, does it say here a holy son? Holy. Mm. It says holy, right? And this is a Muslim translation. So why in your translation did not say he's holy? That's what it says. So look what happened now. If the Muslim they say to you that Mary. She is the mother of Jesus and if God if Jesus is God how he can be born of a woman private part private part is dirty it's not just brother but look the Quran confirmed that Jesus who is born of Mary 
He is holy. He is pure. So even the Quran confirm that he is holy. If according from Quran, the Quran have a Jesus version. Yeah. You know, Jesus is as prophet if in Quran. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, how, how he is a prophet, but yet he's holy. There's nobody is holy save God. Uh, is, isn't it the Quran says that Muhammad is a sinner? No. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me show you. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand that. Okay. Chapter 48, verse number 2. Is that, is that, is that Allah saying to Muhammad? And look at the funny translation. Let, let me, let me, I will open it in your language. And you tell me what it says in your language. Because I don't know really uh, what it says. I'm sorry before I don't understand uh, English too much. No problem. Because, okay. Yeah. Here it says, does it say that Allah will forgive to Muhammad his sin in, in your language? Does it say that? Supaya Allah memberi ampunan kepadamu terhadap dosamu yang telah lalu dan yang akan datang serta menipunakan nikmatnya atasmu dan memimpin kamu kepada jalan yang lurus. Does it say Allah will forgive Muhammad for the past sin and the coming sin? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so uh, Muhammad is a sinner and Jesus is not. In chapter 19, verse number 19. The word sushi, sushi, I don't know what it is, mean holy. So Jesus is holy. Muhammad is a sinner. And not only that, Allah will forgive his past and his coming sin. So Muhammad, after he became prophet, he did not stop doing sin. And not only that, it says Allah will guide you to the streetway. That's mean Muhammad was lost. But Jesus never been lost. He is born speaking the word of God. This is what the Quran says. He is born holy. This is what the Quran says. And he die holy because the Quran says that the Messiah says, Salamun alayya yawma wulittu wa yawma amutu wa yawma uba'atu hayya. Peace be upon me, the day I am born, the day I die, the day I'm going to be resurrected. So the Quran witnessed that Muhammad was a very, very, very bad sinner. And Allah says, may Allah forgive to you. May, maybe. <laughs> Why maybe? Why maybe? Allah is not sure. It says Allah forgive sin of No, it Muhammad. says actually, it says maybe. You see, I don't know the translation. What uh, I think they are lying to you then. Because here it says, it says in Arabic, yeah. May Allah forgive thee. How Allah, he say, may Allah. Obviously, Muhammad, he made this verse. Because if Allah is talking, he will not say, may Allah. Who is the one is talking there? If the one is talking is Allah, how Allah he say me Allah. This is the English translation. Read it, guys. That yeah, that Allah may forgive yeah. thee of the sin in the past and the which to come. Open license for sin. Sin which is past, which is to come. Hmm. So, who what, is we, the what we receive, Zaki, what we receive here, we receive that Jesus is a pure, he is holy, and the Quran confirmed that, and Muhammad is a big time sinner, and he is not sure even to be forgiven. It says, May Allah, may Allah, it's a wish. And there's no way Allah will say, May Allah, because if Allah is talking, he knew if he will forgive Muhammad or not. It's a wish. The one who made this verse, obviously, he is fabricating Quran. There's no way God will say, me Allah, I am Allah. Do you forgive him or not? And he is the best of mankind. If the best of mankind, according to Muslims, he may be to be forgiven. So who is, what about the rest? Uh, CP, I want to clarification about this Randolph Forrester says, Zaki, his, not his name. Dia mengaku ngaku seolah percaya Yesus. So, hey, I'm the real Zaki. I'm here. I'm in Indonesia. And you are in Zaki. Don't, don't worry about people what they're saying. Focus with me. So, Zaki, what do you think? Yeah. 
you will stay as a Muslim? Uh, I probably, you said, I already, already, you said already you are out of Islam. You don't believe Allah is a mess. As, as, sorry, this is my mistake. Sorry. You agree already yeah. that Allah is not God. And Muhammad is a yeah. false prophet. Okay. But now, don't you want to believe in Jesus, the holy, which is even the Quran confirm his holy? Hmm. I don't know when to start. I mean, is if you want to start in Islam, you just need to say about Oh, no problem, my friend. You see, we, we, we are not pagan people who repeat words, and this is this is not God. This is not from God. And say, just say in your heart or say loud, say, Lord the Messiah, I accept you as my Lord, my Savior. I believe in you. I believe in what you taught me. I believe in your death. I believe in your resurrection. I believe that you are the Word of God. I believe that you are the living God. I believe that you are the Messiah, the Christ, the Savior. I believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. I believe in the cross of Jesus. I believe in the resurrection of Jesus. So my friend, the mic is yours. Say to everybody what you believe. Tell them I believe in Jesus, the one who was crucified, the one who will save me. I believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. We are listening, Zaki. Go ahead. Yeah, I believe. I mean to that. I mean to that. This is our brother, Zaki. He called us live from Indonesia, and this is why the sound is not good. He called us as a Muslim, and now he is announcing himself, accepting the Messiah as his Lord, as his Savior. I'm really happy for you, Zaki. I pray to you and to your family and to all Indonesians, including the Muslims, that they will be saved because we love Indonesian people. Me, myself, I have really, I'm, I'm doing my best to, to, to reach out to Indonesian because I know they are poor people and they've been deceived. They are very good people. Indonesians are very good people, Muslims or not Muslims. They are very nice people, but they are deceived, my friend. Love them. And we love them. And we love the Muslims. And Zaki, we love you and we love your family, even though they are Muslims. But we pray that your family, they will accept the Christ and soon they will join you to be Christians. Uh, CP. Yes. If, if, I'm, if I'm trust in Jesus, I don't want talking to my family. You are afraid to talk to them? Yeah, I scared hmm. because my family is all of them is Islam. Hmm. Uh, I just want to trust him from my heart. You can let, but, let, let me tell you what you need to do, what you can do exactly. I understand your situation, and I don't yeah, want you yeah. I don't want you to to do any harm to yourself. But you know when you go and discussing with them, you, you ask them questions like, okay, if Jesus, if if Muhammad, uh, the Quran says. Like, okay, Allah will send messengers, he speak our language. So where is the messenger who speak our language? The same questions I gave you, try try nicely and kindly to make them reach out and see that there is something wrong with this religion. Slowly, slowly, like a drop of water. Do you know what the drop of water can do? A drop of water can open a hole in a rock. But yet it's a drop of water. So you can be the drop of water who is very gentle, very kind but yet is going to open a hole in a hard rock. Just be consistent and never give up, my friend. Yeah. All right? All right. Uh, Thank you, Zaki. If you have any problem, you know, I mean, any question, uh, feel free to, to call us live. I'm happy for you. And you can invite any friends to call me and let us save more Indonesian. Thank you, uh, uh, Zaki, for calling. God bless you, my friend. Yeah. Take care. Thank you. All right, I apologize for the noise in his microphone. He's speaking from Indonesia. You know, that's, I think, normal. God is good. And here we go. We got Zaki calling us from Indonesia as a Muslim, and he is hanging up as a Christian. Isn't it amazing? Isn't it? A Muslim in the chat, he said, Christian Prince, why you don't debate face-to-face? -face? My friend, what face-to-face? Am I debating you shoulder to shoulder behind the computer? What do you want? Do you want to see my face or you want to get my answers? Did you see Allah face to face? As long as you are a person who believe in things which is face to face, did you did you see the face of your prophet? Did you see the face of your of your God? What, what face you are talking about? This is an excuse. If you have answers, call me right now and save your brother who just became a Christian. If a Christianity is false, and you owe what you are saying to you face to face. Call me.
Mr. Face to Face. What we are doing here? We are we are doing Billy to Billy. This is face to face. What face to face mean? You want me to put my nose in the front of your nose and let my nose touch your nose? And this is the debate. And who is the one hiding behind the computer? It's you. As it, aren't you using a computer now? I mean, look how silly the argument. He himself is using computer and asking me why I'm using computer. And as you see, my friend, by using the computer, I'm reaching to every house in Indonesia, which I cannot do face to face. I cannot go around the world, but now people around the world, they are listening to me. People from Africa, Sierra Leone, I mean, countries I never even heard of. They're sending me messages. They are really happy to see my videos and watching people being safe. But this is hurting you because you have no answer and you cannot stop me. So what do you say face to face? I tell him, brother, I tell him, uh, Zachary Nayak, he said, he accepted to debate me if I bring 2,000 people with me to, to Bangladesh. 2,000 people, they have to come with me. Hmm. Sani saying, Arabian prophet, you are not a prophet or God. You are a human. I mean, this is a news for me. I thought I am God before. <laughs> Thank you. I thought I'm a fish before, actually. I mean, look at this question. I only ask him why you don't debate Muslims face to face. This is face to face, my friend. And people, they are interested in my knowledge, not in my face. My face doesn't look good. Don't you see? I'm still single. Each time I ask a girl to marry me, she uh, she say what? Like there's no men left? Like hello? My face doesn't look good, but I would do. If one day I get to be handsome, I will uh, debate face to face and shoulder to shoulder, face to face. This is a f false argument, you know. No, Zach, he did not run away. Zach, he accepted the Messiah and he became a Christian. Zach, he called me, you know. He was a Muslim from Indonesia and he accepted the Messiah as a savior. And now he is our brother in Christ. Do we have any Muslim want to say something? Anyone? I'm so happy that I went today online. I don't know. I felt like it's, I told you. I told you I could not resist the temptation, even though I feel like I have a little headache. Uh, you know, like I mean, too much talk, many hours talking would give you a headache. I don't know if you try it. It's not easy, by the way, to speak to many hours and not only speak. You are discussing a heavy duty topic. You know, your head, the processor works so fast. You know, information blah. It's not easy to debate, but I cannot resist. I cannot resist coming here and bringing someone to Christ. I cannot resist, and thank God I came on air today, so we have our brother Zaki accepting Christ and being saved. I'm happy for him. Maybe I got headache. Maybe I have to have too much patience. Zaki don't speak very much good English. Maybe I have to use a translation in Indonesian, which I don't speak. But at the end of the day, the result is amazing, and Zaki is saved, and today he is a Christian. And the winner in this is not Christian Prince. Zaki is the winner. I just lost two hours of my life talking to Zaki. What I got from the talking to Zaki? Nothing. The, the real winner is Zaki. He is the one who is being saved. I, is, I am sick of talking about Muhammad, trust me. I wish one day that I will never talk about this to topic again. But I, I feel guilty. I have a duty to do. Who can replace me? So at the end of the day, yes, I spoke to him for a while, but and uh, from my time, but the Lord, he will bless me for saving somebody.
and this is my this is my reward this is the only reward I'm asking for the Lord he will bless us all of us those who will pray for Zaki those who will download the video and share it with somebody so people will see because you know maybe you do not know you will receive the blessing of the Lord when you save somebody without knowing as an example you download my video somebody is a Muslim he watched this video and he decided to leave Islam and he decided to accept Christ but you don't know him I do not know him still you receive the blessing of the Lord the Lord he said from their fruits you shall know them you want to face the Lord one day and you say what I could not bring one person to Christ all my life I spend my life doing what then not even one just one one my friend bring one person to Christ at least one so you will be remembered by the Lord for he recognizes you from your fruits if you build a big house this is for you if you buy a new car this is for you the Lord he is the one who teach us that we are here to serve the Lord himself the Messiah he says I came here to serve not to be served I came here to serve can't you serve once in your life and save once one person at least one from your family let us work together and let us save the Muslims and let us love them not to hate them be a loving person fight the lies don't fight the people you see I have nothing against uh, Shabir Ali I don't know him I mean I don't hate him and they will never hate him I fight the lies he present to us and I pray that the Lord will open his eyes one day and the same as happened to Paul who was going after the Christians to kill them he became a disciple of Jesus All right, so I want to say thank you for being here. And as you see, each time we go, we prove that their argument is false and does not stand any 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 chance of the truth. It does not stand. And I encourage all those who they are listening to translate and add subtitle to the videos to their languages. Like we have people from Africa. I love African people. They are wonderful people. And actually, there is something unique about 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 about. Uh, the wisdom of God you see one day the white man he went all the way to Africa to tell the African about the good news about the gospel the white man today is abandoned the gospel guess what the black man is coming from Africa to teach the white man about Jesus isn't, isn't it the Lord is amazing isn't it the Lord is beautiful today we have millions of Christians from Africa preaching the gospel trying to make the, the white man understand that Jesus is God this is how the Lord he used us my friend for his good the Lord is the Lord of all of us for Asian for black for white nobody is better than anyone your color does not make you higher or lower than me from your fruits the Messiah he will recognize you so you're a black person he's a white person that is an Asian person that doesn't count what count is who is the fruit and what the fruit is about that is Jesus and that is the Christ and that is God who is love for God he loved the world he sent his only begotten son not to kill not to destroy but to complete and to perfect our life if the whole universe just follow one sentence of Christ teaching love your enemy imagine how much money we spend for defense weapon airplanes love your enemy one sentence can save the whole universe and this universe is going to be destroyed because nobody following one sentence of Christ love your enemy pray for those who curse you if the whole world learn 
and practice one sentence of Christ's teaching, just one, the world today will become a heaven. Heaven and earth. And this is why, because we are refusing heaven and earth of God, refusing to accept his words, his teaching to follow, hell is going to come upon us if we don't wake up. This earth will be destroyed by man, and then will be destroyed by God. Because man became a greedy. Man worship money. Man want to take over nations. Man want to control others. Man, he want to buy and sell a human being. Man, he want to be God. But God, the true God, who came as a man, he said, love your enemy. And with this, with the wisdom of the Lord, we close for today. And I want to say thank you for being with us. And please pray for Zaki, because I felt like he is worried about accepting the Messiah from his family. So pray for his safety. Pray that his family, they will love him. Pray that they will, that the Lord will protect him. Pray that he is going to be an ambassador for Christ and he will bring more believers to the Messiah. Thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And this is a Christian Prince was with you. Thank you and see you soon.